the pug. Once upon a time, there was a pug named Hug, whose face looked like it had been hit with a mug. Now, whenever he sneezed, he'd sneeze and he'd wheeze, and out would come a choo, a gushing flow of fresh wee. So poor Hug had no friends, not even pretend. So he had been left at the pound without a penny to spend. Yet during playtime one day, he went out on a ledge and met some new dogs just to see where it led. First he came upon Dottie, a spotted Dalmatian, who was presently tending her favorite plantation. Can I be your friend? asked Hug in an instant hoping that she would not be in the slightest resistant. Oh, yes, indeed, my good man, for I am in need of a friend. I need someone to water my favorite hedge. So Hug sneezed and he wheezed and he wheezed and he sneezed, and out came a gushing flow of fresh wee. Ah, <gasps> That's disgusting and foul, yelled Dottie at once. Get out of here, beast, or go choke on a leash. Sad, due to her treatment, when he had been trying to help, he immediately left without even a yelp. However, he soon met a face with which to talk and secretly hoped that together they could walk. I'm Chewy, the Chihuahua, said the furball to hug. I may be super hairy, but I'm not even slightly scary. We'll make good friends then, said hug with a smile. Maybe we should hang out for a while. So they dug and they played and chewed bones in the shade. But then Hug began to notice some pain. It seemed that Chewy had a bad case of fleas, which he passed on to Hug. And you can guess what that means. They got all over his skin and played games in his nose. So Hug's special secret was about to become known. Then Hug sneezed and he wheezed, and he wheezed and he sneezed, and out came a gushing flow of fresh wee. That's disgusting and foul, said Chewy at once. Get out of here, beast, or you'll end up in a quench. Dejected and sad, but not willing to give up, Hug soon came upon a newly arrived pup. I'm Pooey, the puddle, said the pup to the pug. You can probably guess why, if you see me eat bugs. Never mind that, Pooey, said Hug in delight. I think we'll get on without even the smallest fight. But just then, in an instant, what flew by but a hibiscus. And though he tried to contain it, he couldn't quite make it. So Hug sneezed and he wheezed, and he wheezed and he sneezed, and out came a gushing flow of fresh wee. Then Pooey slipped over, and out flew some poo, and the mess was horrific, like a overflowing loo. We don't seem to make very good teams, said Pooey, without being mean. It's best we part ways, so as to keep this place clean. 
disappointed and sad, Hug lay down and cried, and he silently wished he would be allowed to die. However, just at that moment, who should come along but a costumed little human who looked so very strong. My name is Kate the Crusader, said the girl, while looking for danger. What is your name, you cute little stranger? My name is Hug, barked the pup in reply, not sure whether to get excited or just say goodbye. It seems I can understand you, my hairy little friend. So how about we play a game of pretend? Sounds good to me, barked Hug with some glee. But I probably should warn you that I wee when I sneeze. Me too, my friend, said Kate in reply. These diapers aren't just part of my disguise. And with that they played and played and played and became the greatest of friends, which goes to show there is one for all. The End Thank you so much for watching and listening today. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you'll never miss another story. Bye!